What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day and everybody's doing well. All right guys, we're going to go to a place called Rock Nest. And if you're not familiar with that, let me show you the picture. This is it right here. My good friend Neville Thompson put this on here. You can see it's MSL Sol 51. It was added on October 15th, but it was in 2012 where the actual rover took this pan. A really good pan. Here we are. I want to show you guys right here. Now what I find interesting is that this thing is completely straight across. And you can see it just keeps going and going and going. You can see it's, it's pretty straight, right? Let me go ahead and do this. Let me zoom in a bit more. Now, it's not the best quality, and I get that. But you'll see what I'm talking about because I'll bring this out much better. When I notice this right here, I can see what looks like these squares, right? See it right here, right in the middle of the screen, right here. There's another one right here near it. And you can see the lines, mm, kind of vague. It's not too great, right? Now, the more I went through this, I noticed there's something right here. Almost looks like it's almost like a, a portion of a round piece, right? Um, and you can see what looks like one, two, three, four, five. I went, wait a minute, there's like five like holes or some kind of design. And it's semi, like almost, almost a half a circle. You'll see what I mean. It just gets more and more bizarre. And you can see this is going straight across. And this area full of just randomness, you can see this. Here's something else here, too, that is pretty interesting. But notice how you can see behind this piece. See right there? You can see the outline of this piece right here. It's like this here. Goes like this and comes over to here like that. And it's got this little dot. But this is supposed to do what? Block out some of that? You guys see that? Why would they do that? It's like to get your focus off everything else and concentrate on this. Again, this is rock nest. You can see the size of this area. Decent size, right? We may be going over this. Like I said, I want to make this up to you guys, so we might just do a, a hangout strictly on just checking out this pan alone. Let me know what you guys think. So we'll still do that, and we'll have our Friday night hangout as we normally do, right? So just let me know. All right, so you can see this area right here. Like I said, look at just a bunch of rocks, hills, and everything else. Nothing, no big deal, right? But again, look at these two lines. It almost looks like an old roadway, right? See, like there's two halves to it. Some people would say, well, maybe it's a train track or whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying I find it a little interesting how you get this piece right here. It's like separations in this in this ground. And you can see what looks like right here. Again, these areas right here. All right, let's jump into Photoshop. Here it is here. We make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to show you that real quick right here, these pieces I was telling you about. Now, this area alone has the biggest interest to me. Again, let's zoom into this. Again, we can see these what look like these squares or something right here. There's another one going like this, like that there. And again, we have this weird looking, like almost half round piece. We got one, two, three, four, five areas. Again, something else muddied up here, but we can see something right there. Again, these square pieces. I find this interesting because out of all of this mess, this is what we see coming through. So let's jump into this here so we can bring something out of this. All right. So right off the bat, as soon as I did this here, this is what I found interesting. No, these guys would never hide anything in this photo, right? Um, I mean, pay no mind to this blurring out purposely. Pay no mind to that at all. Um, it's weird because you can see what looks like this uh, right here, this line right here going across. There's another one up here, this section here. So we got another line right here. And in between, you actually have a little bit of detail. I find it a little hard to believe that that's completely untouched. And of course, guys, listen, I mean, this whole thing is BS as far as this so-called butte. Because when you look at this photo, let's do this. You can see what looks like something is either been blotched out right here. But it's not only on this hill. But it goes below this ground line? No, something doesn't make sense. And we're going to get into that right now. All right. Let's jump into this a little bit more. Again, guys, it's all about bringing the lines out. That's what we need to do, right? We're starting to see that piece right there, that half-rounded piece. Or whatever that is. With these one, two, three, four... It's like four or five dots there or something to that. Some uh, kind of small detail. Round circle here. And again, we have this other piece here. Looks like it's kind of like this. 
But now there's something else in here. Check this out. Just look for the smaller details. I'm not sure what to make of this. Almost looks like it looks like something rounded. Almost like something sticking out of it. Almost like a little dome type piece. See that right there? Something in here looks appears to be round. And this is not the best quality, but that doesn't matter. If they give you a low res quality photo, it makes it harder for you to find it or find anything in it, right? Let's keep going with this. Well, this is what we did as we burned it. You can see like a darker details up here. And it's like these weird colors just start popping out of there, right? Again, now we're starting to see this thing. It almost looks like there's more than one now. See this right here? There's one right here. I'm just going to go around it. I'm not going to do the actual lines. And there's one right here. Like this thing, and whatever it is, is not just flat squares. It appears to be almost rounded. See that? Like this here. See that way that looks now? You got one here. Another here. They look like they're actually got a shape to them like this. And you can see these pieces right in here. Very small. But they are there. See that? All these little pieces right in here. I can see these. They're small. It's not clear. But I can see... You can almost see little lines going to each of these. See that? There's one right there, faint. Faint. Right there. Every one of these has a small little line going to them. And then we have these other ones right here. Like it's a back side of something. See that? And again, this one up here as well. It makes you wonder, what the hell is this stuff, guys? Check the other shapes out right here. Going like this here. We have this other square or some kind of object right here. But the lines to this is what I find interesting. Again, we have this, it looks like another curved piece right there. Kind of goes down like this here. Boom, dot, boom, dot. I don't know what to make of this stuff. I have no clue. I find it interesting because this is supposed to be just, just natural ground, nothing of any importance, but yet we find these shapes and these oddities in this sand. What do, we, what do you guys suppose this stuff is? Let's keep going into this. A little bit more detail. Now, you notice there's another line here, very faint. And what looks like we got another here. But whatever this stuff is, it looks mechanical to me. Is it possible this is like openings to like some kind of underground? It's hard to tell because this stuff has been so manipulated that it's not even funny. Let's do a full enhancement. Now, guys, check out the background. This is also what I find interesting. Let's zoom into the back of this a little bit. Again, we have something right here, but what it is, it's going down below the ground. They're trying to make this look like a transition line, like this is the mountain. Okay, here's flat ground here. And then, of course, we got the foreground coming this way. But that's not the case. We can see something actually right here. Going down below this dirt line. Well, how is that possible? There's no reason you should see that. And then you can see like bits and pieces in the background here. You can see something right here. kind of does this. Guys, see that? Something right there too. Whatever that is. Bits and little pieces here. Just little things like that. Something coming into this like this. Almost looks like there's something here. Like there's a separation of this with the one next to it right here. See that? Now that may be nothing. It might just be the photo itself or the manipulation they did to this photo. But nonetheless, there is a separation. At least it appears to be. Now, again, when I look at this bottom, this, this is what intrigued me the most because of this whole section, it's just nothing but ground and different levels of the ground. There's, there's divots in the ground and everything else. But yet, this is completely straight across. It's pretty darn close. 
going like this here, straight across. Now, that line wasn't straight, but you get the idea. And then we have others doing the same, like almost completely straight across. And it keeps going. See that? What is this stuff? Is it something that's buried in the ground? Which could very well be. But it's so hard to see it because of the manipulation. Let's go back to the original photo for a moment. And let's jump into the black plate on this. And then we're going to go ahead and hit that. Again, guys, now you can see this blur really, really well. This right here, this again, this, this has all been messed with. This is all in the back. This is all com completely messed with. But now you can see the actual ground right here. Blur. And I mean super blur. You got this area down here also is blurred right here. But yet we have just a little bit of clarity and it's very crappy to begin with. But check out this stuff right here that appears to be, and I'm going to go ahead and dock on this, it appears to be going from this back section, which is way in the background, to you can see where these lines have kind of faded, ghosted out. Something's going below this dirt line. How is that possible? It should not be doing that. And this is the object we've seen without doing any enhancements. This is the raw photo, but just in black plating. And you can see that. Something's doing this from there to the bottom going through this ground. And again, we, we get these straight line pieces doing this going pretty much straight across, guys. Look at this. And again, right here in the background, straight across. And they seem to be evenly spaced apart as well. Now, in an area that's supposed to be just strictly just ground with rocks and boulders and hills and divots in the ground, and everything else, it looks pretty darn straight considering. Wouldn't you agree? I find this pretty interesting. Is it something buried? It appears to be to me. Or is it some kind of vehicle? Like some people will probably say, well, it looks like a train because there's sections of it. And when you look at this here again, it looks like you can still see it even here. Um, it looks like it's been, it's not just a flat surface. It appears to have some roundness to it like this here, as opposed to just something flat laying on the ground. See that? You guys let me know. What are we seeing here? Is it something that's buried in the ground? Some kind of vehicle or something? Uh, some kind of structure? What is it? Is it natural to you? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you see. As always, guys, please like and share. Always appreciate it. And guys, let me know if you want to do some kind of anomaly hunting to this actual Gigapan, which is a little bit better than this and clearer. And if you want to do that, let me know. Drop your comments down below and we'll do that for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.